welcome to the westerns, to the first session of Spaghetti Western. <laughs> there is only room, there ain't room in this town for the both of us. This town isn't big enough for, for the, the both, both of us. Sorry, I'm too big. <laughs> you don't fit in this town. <laughs> Everyone get out! Which one of you is Dirty Dan? <laughs> so I have here London, uh, the Birdman, Finch. If he's an outlaw, that'd be his name. London the Birdman bird. Finch. <laughs> I'll give it to you and I'll take it from you. I have Garrett Southern Prescott. Ah, there. Ah, there. Ah, there. And I have Eden the Power Walker. So real quickly, let's just get a brief introduction of our new characters for this new session. For this new campaign. So Eden, do you have your character? Like... That's like a brief description of your character yeah. is all we need. Yeah. Um... So, my character is a fire genasi, um, she has this like black fading to a reddish orange hair color, her eyes kind of glow with a slight orange tint, she has like glowing freckles on her face, um, her cool. arms have these like black tattoos that almost have like a smoke emanate from them. Um, and she's wearing, you know, typical western outfit, but like it's mostly black, um, with like a few tints of red and orange, obviously. Um, What's her name? Armor underneath. Uh, her name is Ember. Ember. Okay, Garrett? Um, I'll play Bert. He's a Goliath, like seven, eight feet tall, with the ashen gray skin. He's got like... He's got his sideburns shaved, but he has like hair on top and a little bun. Um, he kind of just wears basic leathers, like an open center. Okay. Um, he's got two holsters on his side, one for his gun, one for his flask. One for his whiskey. <laughs> one for his whiskey. <laughs> um, that's about it. Okay, you can't okay. forget his pet rhino. Oh, right! He has a pet rhino! Yeah. Named. Big John, wasn't it? Yeah, Big John. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot the name of your rhino. You should probably write that down. Bird walks up to a horse. You're Big John. <laughs> <laughs> Big John's next to him. Like, what is he the last name? No. It's just Bert. <laughs> Bert. His last name is Trub. Bert Trub. Bert Trub. backwards. Oh. Trub. <laughs> Trub. Bert Trub. Should I introduce myself then? I'm the next. Yeah, yeah, your character. <laughs> My character is um, Ilvnim. Blakemore? Ill. Ilvnim Blakemore. You guys can just call him Y. I think that's what Ill. his friends call him. Y. Yeah. And he's for real, guys. He's for real. <laughs> he's, he's a for real blue guy. He's like blue to the bone. That's, that's him. He's a blue Vidalkin with this big old black robe across his back that goes way down past his feet. We'll probably get super dirty out in the western countryside. And <laughs> he has just just dressed so weird. He's like a bright red shirt and uh, blue pants that are almost as blue as his skin. He's just like stands out hugely with a big old basketball sized sphere for his orb for casting spells. Well, we don't blend in. I'm eight feet tall. She's on fire. Her clothes. <laughs> I, I don't you're, look you're, you're from Avatar. I'm from Avatar. <laughs> I'm for real, y'all. And what class? I am playing as a sorcerer and a wizard. Sorcerer and wizard multi class. Yep, and I will die. So, um, it is a very, very hot summer day here in Tanner's Crossing. You guys are all here for various reasons. Maybe you're here on business, maybe it's pleasure, maybe you just spontaneously appeared out of the nether and have no idea what's going on. I heard there was alcohol. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're going to the nearby watering hole, you heard that the whiskey here is particularly nice. I drank the last town out. <laughs> it's just all of it. Yeah, I drank all of it. <laughs> you drank all their whiskey. You ran out of whiskey, drank all their wine, you drank all their beer. After the beer, you drank all the vodka. And they're like, we don't have anything else to give you, you gotta go. Um, uh, you guys are moving around town, and this is this Tanner's Fall, or Tanner's Fall, you call it, Tanner's Crossing is a very, it's, a very, it's not a terribly small town, but it's not necessarily very large either. It's situated in the middle of the desert. Um, the local 
local wildlife is generally, or not wildlife, local uh, flora is cactus and sage. It's very, 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 very dry country. Um, and uh, it's an older town too. It's been around for hundred years or so. It's like, old wooden buildings. It's not dilapidated, but you can tell it's old, a little run down. But it, it, with all that being said, it's not a bad town. It's actually a really nice town, um, except for the crime. Um, and as you guys are walking milling around, a, cow, a crowd, a crowd, a crowd begins to gather. A crowd of cows. A herd. It's called a herd. Carrot. It's a cow. <laughs> it's a cow. It's a curd. That's beside the point. Um, but you, you begin to see a, a crowd gather. This crowd begins to gather around some gallows as the sheriff is is yelling out some. Um, there's some, some crimes that some people have committed. You see three men on the top of those gallows. And people begin gathering. There are people who have packed lunches. They, bring, they, bring, they have packed, they bring, they're about their You're laughing, but this is what they did, actually. No, I, no, I know. Like, it's funny. <laughs> um, there's, there's families gathered in having picnics. They're enjoying the show. And um, um, the sheriff goes up to the first guy and says, uh, uh, Dan Atkins, you've been accused of public urination, stealing a horse, Sleeping with my wife. Uh, and you have been sentenced to hang from the neck until dead. Purely on accusation. He wasn't even judged <laughs> <laughs> or trialed. <laughs> because you're accused of this. Death. And then and then he he, he pulls a lever. Whoop. Guy falls. Whoa. Crowd, crowd cheers. Goes over to the second guy. Daniel Smith, you have been found guilty of doing unspeakable things to a chicken, as well as my wife. <laughs> and you've been sentenced to hang from the neck until dead. Any last words? I'd do it all again if I could. <laughs> and at this point, you guys have begun to make your way up towards this gallows. Mm. Oh, yeah, sure. Get closer yeah, to the you really want to know what this guy's life's all about. Like... <laughs> I, I am curious. <laughs> Um, That's one way to describe it. <laughs> um, you, you, you walk up, and he comes up to the third person. The third person is actually in the middle. He went from the left side to the right side. Now he's back in the middle with the mm -hmm. final guy. And he, 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 he says, Bill Thompson, you have been found guilty of horse theft, murder, robbery, Assault, robbing a stagecoach, stealing stagecoaches, taking the wheels off stagecoaches, <laughs> second degree murder, third degree murder, oh fourth degree murder, and public intoxication. These are the things that I'll kill you for. <laughs> <laughs> Iron fist around here. Cooked chicken too long? Murder. <laughs> Jail. Jail. Cooked chick cook chicken not too long? Jail. Jail. <laughs> Cooked steak, anything other than medium, anything more than medium rare? Jail. 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 No, they, they, they just shoot you right then there. <laughs> they don't even, no trial or nothing. Solid. Bam. Walking on that side of road? Jail. <laughs> right side? Jail. <laughs> Walking period? Jail. jail. <laughs> he says all this to Bill Thompson. And he says, is, um, this man, notorious gang leader, finally caught by local bounty hunters and is being put to death. You've been sentenced to hang from the neck until dead. Do you have any last words? See Bill Thompson. He's got his hands tied behind his back, and the noose is already around his neck. And he says, "Yeah, actually, Sheriff, I got, I got a word for you. I got, I, I got my last words. And my last words are: these aren't gonna be my last words, because this isn't the end for me." And at that point. Or it's uh, like, that's not how that's supposed to work. That's not how that works. It's like, I don't know, I'm not very smart, but that's, that's not how these things are supposed to go. At that point, you guys hear a gunshot. And the rope that's got uh, the noose, the, the rope falls. It's been shot. And the crowd begins to go, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? And then a guy in the crowd, a couple guys in the crowd, wearing like long black coats and bowler caps. Pull out revolvers. One of them shoots the sheriff. 
you get shot. Oh, and he, like, it, it seems like he flings himself off the gallows. <laughs> <laughs> like, he didn't fall. You would think he was like, you know, there's a, there's a Gary Larson cartoon where he's like, and for heaven's sake, you get plugged, don't just slump over and die. Put some drama into it. <laughs> it looks like inside check to make sure that he didn't fake his own death? <laughs> uh, sure, yeah, give me an inside check. Sorry, just because it's like, it looks like he didn't just fall over. It's like, maybe he didn't. Oh yeah, he's he's totally dead. <laughs> what I, you did? I, I got a six. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> this is a dead man. It's super dramatic. Um, he falls with a hearty clutch, and he's he's lying on the ground, and then uh, the crowd begins to. This is when people start realizing what's going on, and they start to scream. And there's there's another deputy that's on the gallows as well, and he pulls out his gun just to get shot by some mystery guy, probably the same guy that shot the rope. And he falls over, slumped over dead. Oh. And the crowd begins to panic and start screaming and running away at this point. And the parents are grabbing children. The one guy, he doesn't have any kids, he just grabs a sandwich and starts looking at him. <laughs> He's like, right. And then the two more men come in on horseback, a third horse. Um, one of the guys that shot the sheriff, the guy that shot the sheriff specifically, climbs up the gallows and begins cutting the ropes off his boss that has his hands tied behind his back. Bill Thompson jumps on the spare horse. And rides away with his gang. The other three guys jump on the back of each horse. They got the long coats and bowler caps. And they, all, all the guys are wearing long coats and bowler caps. What is this, like five men? <laughs> um, there's six, plus you don't know how many we're shooting from far off. Mm. That's a lot of guys. That's a lot of guys. You said six? There's six. So there's there's the five guys. Including so, Bill? Yeah, the six including Bill Thompson. So, um, there's the two guys on horseback, the three guys in the crowd, Bill Thompson, and then there's, you don't know how many else were, like, you know there's at least one guy shooting. Just a huge gang. Yep. Yeah. Got it. A lot of guys. Well, we just watched this happen. <laughs> yeah, you guys just uh, yeah. watched this happen. <laughs> um, I just want to go around making sure that nobody got hurt. And Pretty I much everyone's run away. It's just you guys in the square now. But like, there's the there's the shot deputy and the shot guard? sheriff. Okay, okay. Yeah, pretty much everyone's gone. So you, you want to check on the sheriff and the deputy? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Um, sheriff's dead. Okay. Like, when you go up to him, he's he's dead. Like, it was a dramatic fall, but he, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. It's, got it. The deputy's still got some life in him. He's got shot. He can get shot, like, Chest or head, it was like shoulder shot. Okay. It's like, Argh, bloody hell! Argh. But he looks like okay. Yeah, he looks like he's fine. I mean, other than the bullet wound the in hole his shoulder. In his shoulder. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the fact that he's, you know, he's like gripping it like right here, and there's blood coming between his fingers. Got it. It's a decent, it's a decent wound. Yeah, I got, you got shot close, right? In revolver. I love that. Okay. Argh, bloody hell! Fuck off! Need some help. What do you think? <laughs> Um, I, I'll lift him up. Uh, I'll tear, I'll tear, like, my eyes closed and wrap it around. Right, give me a medicine check. Uh, medicine. What is that? Can you perform a tourniquet? <laughs> you know. It's mostly to see how, how effective uh, it is. Uh, nine. Nine? Nine. Nine. Right, so, I mean, you, 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 you don't stop his bleeding, but you, you have it on it, so it's absorbing his blood. And it's, well, it's something. It's, it's something. It's better than nothing. It's like, oh, you kicked me in Doc Brown's, Oh. Um, tell me where to go. Well, okay. yeah, it's just down here. He gives you directions. So you're able to take him over there. I'll take him. Bert's still just standing there waiting. <laughs> <laughs> like, is this a uh, new theater they do? <laughs> it's like, I don't understand. Was this a play? I'm or... <laughs> so confused. Is the coast clear? Uh, yeah, I mean, it seems like, I mean, the dust is still settling. Mm-hmm. But it seems pretty calm now. Like, everybody's calmed down. Oh, well, people are still freaked out. Like, they, like, ran to their homes and stuff. Right. And... Just like, uh, I don't know, does it look like there's still more people with guns around? No, I mean, I mean other than the people who, like, who would be in the town. But you start to, you start to hear, like, um, horses' hooves. Mm-hmm. Like the coconuts. Money Python. Yeah. Money Python coconut sounds. You, you see a man show up with um so you, you you've taken the doc brown so mm -hmm. you're you're not in this situation um, so this is mostly me pleased and, and you see you see a man he's a, he's he's going the little deputy star mm -hmm. and he goes what happened here mm, they 
tried to not make eye contact and took Nope, I'm not a part of this. Um, there was a hanging, and then the guy got shot. You <laughs> were the sheriff? He <laughs> just slumped over? Yeah, <laughs> him. Um, and then they stole um, the one Bill Thompson and took him away. They took Bill Thompson away? That's, uh, ah, damn! That's, uh, he's going to be my friend. Third time this month! <laughs> wow! I'm overhearing this and I just laugh. <laughs> I, I suggest a better method. I just shoot him next time. <laughs> what to say to that? It's like you know, you know the problem with that. It's an excellent idea that I wish we had thought of about a month ago. <laughs> My six intelligence thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> she, she shattered the fourth wall. <laughs> we need to get him back. I don't have the manpower, though. Got the sheriff. I don't know where Williamson went. Oh. He was taken by girl who was on fire. <laughs> to that way. And do I actually remember which way he was taken? Uh, nope. I pointed different. <laughs> I rolled a three. Minus two. <laughs> I chipped in because this is humorous. <laughs> and like, went to the doctors, I think. Brown? Uh, Doc Blue, Brown. Blue, green? <laughs> Doc Brown. Alright. Well, at least he's okay then. Well, I don't have the manpower to take care of this by myself. Uh, Sheriff's dead. There's only. Me, it's just me and this guy now. We can't take on a gang by ourselves. If you guys be willing to help out, I'll pay you for your time. Open up my coin purse. I don't know. It sounds all right. Is that? Is this like a for real money? Yeah, for real money. What else would I pay you with? <laughs> just like I don't know. I've seen some pretty weird money. I take out my flask, I shake it, it's a little empty. Yeah, I can use more alcohol buying things. Is there anything else besides money available? Uh, I mean, I don't know what else. I'd, I guess I could give I you mean, credit to the local store. Uh, I'll take that. I'm looking for like uh, magic items. You got stuff like that here in this town? What are you, wealthy? You want magic items? Yeah, yeah. Is that, is that not... It's not something I can give you, unfortunately. Oh, oh I'm sorry. It shows what I know. <laughs> Ruth just raises his hand. Like, what, what is it, mister? What's magic? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Fancy people throwing on fireballs out of the ether or whatever the heck oh, it is. I bet that fire girl can do that. We should get her. <laughs> not a bad idea. I'm I, gonna, like I'll go, I'll go, I like that. I like that. I'll go check with Williams. If you guys would have come with me. <laughs> how, how much would is it bounty? <laughs> Well, after today, we're going to have to raise it. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll be 300 gold pieces. So it started out. Is that a lot of money? That's a decent amount. So hey, if you guys want to come with me down to Doc Brown's, mm -hmm. i got to go check on Williamson. Well, we, can, uh, we, we can formulate a plan from there, all right? Why don't we go grab Big John? Oh, great. you got another person. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, just go meet, meet me down at Doc Brown's. It's just down over here. By the way, sir, it's not that way. That way is just desert. Oh. <laughs> so. Okay. Don't and worry, big guy. I'll follow him. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Mr. Ah, Blakemore. Blakemore. Mr. Blakemore, he, he jumps off his horse at this point. He shakes your hands. And Mr. Burt. Mr. Burt. All right. My friends call me Burt. All right. <laughs> you can call me. I think it's Burt. Yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, Mr. Burt, um, so if you guys, you guys, please meet me down at the do at docks. If you need to grab anything before you need to go, it's great. Go get Big John. We can really use the extra hands. He has four of them. It's fantastic. Four revolvers all at once. That's going to be great. That's going to that's gonna be, that's gonna be quite an asset. <laughs>